じられません全く信じられませんしかもその信じられない事件が今我々の眼前において展開されているのであります今やゴジラの通過した後はどのようなか皆さんは一旦終わりのようから心配しかし今スパウラ方面は全くの機能を受けるただいまゴジラは異常な回避だしどうやら千山正面に行ったようであります Bam, what's doing, guys? Back with a fresh final review. Today, we're going to be looking at the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2023 from Godzilla Minus One. Currently, at this time, the movie is still in theaters in Japan, and in just simply two weeks at the time, we'll be getting it here in the United States for a limited run, and can't wait for that. So, Bandai. Bandai, 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 Bandai. Awesome to be collecting Bandai again. If you can look at the table over here, you see? Bunch of Bandai figures. Bunch of new Bandai figures.、Uh, I have not bought this many Bandai figures since like 2005 or 2006. It's insane. Totally insane.、Um, I did not think I'd be buying Bandai figures again. I had sold off a bunch some years ago and said, you know, I'm good with Bandai. I'm happy with my current collection. And. Uh, that, that's not the case anymore because I've got all these here. And、uh, I mean, everything that you see on this table is the stuff that I've got in the past like month. It's, it, it's stupid, irresponsible. Irresponsible. And then because, you know, there's other stuff out there, I went shopping. So I have another box day coming probably, you know, eventually you'll be watching it after this video. And irresponsible. It's just, you know, they just. Click, click, buy. It just happens. Whoop. It fell into my shopping cart online and oh, they make it so easy. They make it so easy, especially when you have everything at your fingertips Yahoo Japan, other Mandarake, or、well, yada, yada, yada. Yahoo Japan. Somebody's going to have to take my phone away from me because, mm mm. Anyway, so Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla 23. I bought this figure from Showcase Daikaiju. Um, I wanted, what was he, like 28 bucks? Something like that? I can't remember. It wasn't, you know, to me, even, I think it was $28.、Um, not bad at all. You know, considering that the, you know, showcase Daikaiju, they have to get the figures from Japan imported to the United States. So, what that comes, the, the retail price, the shipping to America to showcase to your door. Here we are. So, $28 is not bad. They did all the footwork. And here it is on my collection table. Awesome. Okay. So, the figure sports, just the typical Bandai tag gatefold that we've seen on all of our Bandai figures. And on the front side, it's got Godzilla 2023 or Godzilla minus one, whatever we're calling him. I've kind of been thinking about that the last few days. Am I going to call him Godzilla 23 or Godzilla minus one? That's the movie's name, you know? But Godzilla's on the front of the tag. No more licensing sticker stuck on. So now it's just the licensing logo printed onto the tag. So Toho did away with that some years ago, which is, I don't know. I don't know. It was always like sentimental to have, like, oh, it's got the, the licensing sticker on it. And back in the day, they used to be, you know, gold and silver. Silver for being for what I thought was、uh, figures that were under 1,000 yen or 12,000 yen. And the gold for the higher priced figures, but I can't verify that.、Um, it's just what I remember hearing or reading at some point. Anyway, on the back side of the tag, it's got the movie Monster Series, okay? Basic Bandai Namco information. And on the inside, it's got a bunch of the typical safety mumbo jumbo with a silhouette of Godzilla. And what's interesting now, I just noticed this for the first time while taking these photos, that we got QR codes. So scan that. I'm going to have to try this shortly. And see what happens. It'll probably bring you to the Bandai website or something or another. But anyway, so the figure itself stands in the six inch line,、um, compares size wise very nicely with other figures in the lineup. Okay? So that's something that Bandai has been doing great since the mid to late, well, the late 90s when they started the six inch figures. They all scale beautifully. So great job on scaling. Okay? So we're going to move Guy again, Mecha Godzilla, and the Maquette. Back out of the way. They'll get the review table time in their own time. So the size looks good. Again, six inches from toe to head and probably about eight inches from the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail. 
Articulation, not really much at all. Legs and the arms, that's it. Uh, something, something that I was accustomed to with Bandai figures back in the day was the tail and the head were articulated. And again, I say this, it's not true articulation because it's basically where the vinyl, uh, the, the figure is put together with the flanges. And that's why there's articulation. But, I mean, when I think articulation, I'm thinking, like, S.A. Schmoss arts. But, you know, yes, we this is articulation. But, um, and one thing that stinks about the tails is, like, if you got a bunch of Godzillas on your shelf, it becomes difficult sometimes to position them the way you want them. So what I used to do, and still do, is turn the tails one way or the other. You can't do that here with these, uh, these Godzilla Minus One figures. So, that could be a little difficult. The sculpt itself. Gorgeous. It is, there is a lot of depth on this figure from literally across the whole figure all the way to the tip of the tail. On the, on the bottom side of their figure, clearly with the exception of the feet, which has your basic licensing information. Something I've been noticing about these new Bandai figures, there's no year on them anymore. So you got, you, you got uh, Toho information, Bandai made in China, and then I want to say uh, a serial number there, 2308. Does everybody have 2308? What do we got over here? We got 2308. Yep, so that's some Bandai probably serial information, serial numbers and whatnot. But no more year. It's, I mean, clearly it's on the tag printed on there, so, but that's okay. But yes, depth-wise, this the figure, it's sculpted beautifully, charred up, Godzilla skin, tree barky, all over the place. It's really, really good. The head is really nicely sculpted. Um... You know, from inside his mouth, tongue, teeth, eyes, and snout and everything. All nicely, really done. Nicely done. Now, with the paint job, basically, this figure, it's made out of dark gray vinyl. And he's spray painted with some highlights on his thighs, chest, arms, and shoulders. And on the head. Toes are painted very, very lightly, if at all. Yep, like they got like a light, light, light paint color to them. Uh, same thing with the finger. Nope, the fingernails don't really have anything on there. Uh, and then the head, his teeth, mouth painted as they should be. And his eyes, we got basically gold and black pupils for his eyes. And that looks really, really nice. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Especially when you're able to look at it close up. And in the photos that you're looking at right now. Boom. Uh, the dorsal plates don't really have any paint at all. Um, basically, they're just... The, the vinyl color of uh, the deck gray, dark gray. I say deck gray because I was in the military. And I remember deck gray was the darker gray. But um, that's okay. I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet. So everything from what I've seen, he looks basically just like this. This dark gray color. Um, so it, that works out fine. But yeah, so that's it. That is awesome. It is awesome. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. Again, Bandai is... Bandai, Bandai, however you pronounce it. They are the gateway drug for collecting. They're affordable when brand new. In abundance. And they don't take up that much room. They are a great start. Bandai is a great starting point for collectors. You know, as you evolve. I mean, hell. I'm, I don't, I'm you know what? I've been collecting for 30 years. So do your math. But I've been collecting a while. Been around for a bit. And I still enjoy collecting Bandai figures. So it never gets old. Never gets old. I started with Bandai. My first Bandai figure was the original Batra Larva. Which we'll talk about with the new Batra Larva that I have here um, in another review. So yeah. So next up on my review table will be the theater exclusive. Okay. After that we're going to start working our way through all this stuff here. And I'll eventually get them off the table and find them a home. But that is it for my review. Thank you for watching, people. I'll see you on the next review. And remember, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl. Bam!